Every year, over 200 million migrants around the world send in excess of half a trillion dollars to their families back home in developing countries. These funds guarantee access to basic daily needs, such as health services and education, and the hope of a better future for their children. The current health crisis and its impact on employment and reduction in remittances has not only confirmed the crucial importance of these flows, but also highlighted their vulnerability. But the realities of these migrant workers are not measured in the millions being sent around the world, but on the $300 being sent home on a regular basis. I'm Marvin Lutaya. I'm from Uganda. The funds that I send back home, I used to pay for my sister's education. They're all under my they're all under me, so I have to fund their education as well. I have a sick mom and my dad is getting old, so that's a lot of responsibility to me as well. Due to this uh, pandemic, no one knows what will happen. Like, but the fact that I've, I've got insurance with me, I'm at ease, you know, I'm at peace. Um, life moves on smoothly. I will definitely come back to use Hello Pesa to send money back home. Because definitely in 15 minutes, they have the money. By the, by the click of their hand, they have the money on their mobile phone. So it's easy for me and I love their services. I want my family to stay strong due to this pandemic we're in. I'll do everything I can in my possible ways to send them back money, to keep them funded, to keep them going on. They'll be having a better life, they'll be happy, and I'll also be happy when they're happy, and I'm fine. I want them to be fine. Marvin is not alone in his worry. According to a study in 2018, made in the UAE, and not being able to send money back home uh, was the most uh, cited concern among the participants. Uh, simple uh, insurance products uh, such as personal accident, life, uh, healthcare can alleviate easily this concern. However, the problem is not the insurance product, but the ability to educate and engage with the clients during the distribution of them. Today, our partners, uh, RISE and uh, Hello Paisa, are playing a very important role on this. Educating the clients on the benefits uh, of having this type of uh, insurance uh, is key. During these difficult times, uh, we have also added the teleconsultation as a benefit, uh, so that our insurers uh, can receive a medical consultation from their homes uh, by just using their mobile phones. My name is Laarni. I'm very happy that I'm covered by this insurance, especially this this is happening right now, like we have the coronavirus, these uncertain times, we don't know what's going to happen to us. So it's uh, very important that we're sending regularly money to the Philippines to our loved ones. I would like to tell for my two boys that they don't have to worry about me here. I'm safe, I'm protected with the, the insurance. So I'll be sending regularly money to them. Subscribing uh, is so easy. It's just uh, in the mobile application and I'll definitely gonna buy this one for my family back home. Looking at ways to overcome these barriers, IFAD extended a grant to ADA, an inclusive finance NGO that partnered with Democrats to provide insurance to migrants in the Gulf and their families back home via remittance channels. In the UAE, we have worked with money transfer operator Hello Paisa, inclusive fintech RISE, and insurance powerhouse AXA to create simple and cost-effective ways to allow migrant workers to access insurance and redeem claims simply using their mobile phones. Thanks to the power of technology, we have been able to provide affordable and accessible insurance to migrant workers in the UAE and their families back home. The stories we've just heard are only a few among the millions of migrants around the world supporting families and entire economies back in their home countries. The UAE is one of the largest remittance sending countries in the world. Through meaningful partnerships such as these, we can work towards closing the protection gap and create accessible financial products to form an ecosystem that supports financial inclusion. <laughs>